What's going on? Sean Fagan here from Muay Thai Guy, and in this video, we're going over three killer head kick KO techniques that you don't see very often in a lot of Muay Thai and MMA fights. The first technique we're going over is known both as the Brazilian kick and the question mark kick. Now, it was named after Brazilian Kyokushin Karate kickboxing master who also won the K1 Grand Prix, Glaube Feitosa. Now, you can see right here that this kick is nothing to fuck with. He uses the teep to set up, just like in this one right here. So when he uses the teep, boom, gets his opponent thinking about it right here. Now, he uses the same angle of attack when he comes up with the second kick, comes up through the middle, and then he just turns it over. It requires amazing hip dexterity, but a lot of skill, and you can get a lot of torque in this kick. Let's watch this sexy shit one more time. Fakes it, they come over top, boom! That's what I'm talking about. Here's another great example of the question mark slash Brazilian kick. Sanchai, right here, Muay Thai master, a little ninja he is. He's able to do all these tricky kick techniques and the question mark kick is just one of them. You can watch right here, he sets it up with body punches, body kicks, and he just comes over top. Beautiful stuff. Sanchai. Now here I am with my buddy Chris Masseri working on that question mark kick. Now I'm not as good as those two, but I like to think mine is semi-decent. So if you take a look, you'll see my leg come up right through the middle here, pretending it's a teep or a low cut kick. And then from there, I'm going to turn my hips over and my leg's going to come up and over and ideally kick my opponent in the head just like that. Go watch it one more time. Boom. Not too bad, right? This head kick technique was made famous by Carlos Condit when he landed on GSP in his title fight. Now you can see here I dip my head down and I rotate. Now as you watch here, see where my foot is? I'm going to drive off my foot and pivot that hard and drive off the ground. This way I can generate a lot of power and momentum in that kick. This whole sequence of stills was taken from one of Jack Slack's article on SB Nation. If you haven't followed Jack Slack, you're missing out. So make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel and find out more about his work because it's brilliant stuff. He breaks down fights and analyzes fights and he does a great job at it. Now I know what you were probably thinking when I first showed you this technique is my head was way too low and as you see in this instance Carlos Condit's head is really low too. It's very susceptible to knees, kicks, even uppercuts. So keep that in mind. This technique, there's a time and place for it but it does leave yourself very very open. Right here you can see Carlos starting the combination with a hook up top. From there he rolls underneath and as he rolls and dips his shoulder underneath GSP's vision is looking down. He's either worried about the takedown or a low kick or a body shot. Anyway, Carlos got him looking down. So as Carlos comes back up, he launches off the canvas. And as he does that, he comes over top with a beautifully timed head kick that catches GSP and almost finishes the fight. <laughs> And the final technique is the teep to the face. Boom! This stuff is no joke. If you're able to time it right, thrust your hips open, and get it right on your opponent's chin or face, you do some serious damage. Trust me, I know I get teeped in the face a lot too. Now there's a few key points you want to consider when throwing a teep to the face. First, notice how I'm on the balls of my feet right here, okay? That's how you're going to generate power and also help your teep get a little bit higher. Number two, see where my knee is. It's up near my chest. You want to bring your knee up nice and high. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to avoid any type of defense, and it's going to be hard to get your teep up high enough to land in the face. And lastly, one thing you can improve on from my form is notice how my shoulders are curled in and my back is a little bit of a hunchback. You want to open up your chest nice and wide because that will give you more room for your hips to drive through. And it will also have your head farther away from any types of counters too. And here you see me just wrapping up with some more teeps to the face. Getting that knee up nice and high, driving off the post foot and thrusting my hips through. Boom. I hope you enjoyed that video of the three kicking techniques. If you want more power, speed, and accuracy in all your kicks, make sure to check out these three killer kicking drills that are part of Nakamura Nation that I know is going to enhance your training and make you that much more of a powerful kicker. 
And lastly, make sure you check out KnockMoyNation.com for even more awesome, badass videos you can't find anywhere else. It's going to take your Muay Thai training to the next level. Technique tutorials, combos, drills, everything, you name it, it's there. Go check it out.